A guest on Fox News compared the LGBT flag with the Confederate flag. Need I say more? What do you think about Nancy Pelosi, who made this statement yesterday? It shouldn't take the President of the United States two days to summon the basic decency to condemn murder and violence by Nazis and white supremacists. That is not what happened. Nancy Pelosi is exploiting an opportunity that they think uh, will play to their side. On Saturday, there were two sides that were in an American city that were then it was escalating very rapidly. No, the question became then, well, do you denounce the one part of it? But you know what's really interesting and a really <laughs> incredible irony here is the same people that are demanding that the Confederate flag comes down are the same people that are insisting that the rainbow flag goes up. These two flags represent the exact same thing, that certain people groups are not welcome here. So if Nancy Pelosi wants to say that we're going to start shutting down First Amendment rights of a certain group of people, then what happens the next time that the homosexuals want to walk through an American city and protest and counter protesters come out? There is just so much wrong in that clip, I honestly don't know where to begin. This image right here that we commonly refer to as the Confederate flag is not really the Confederate flag. When the Confederacy was around, there were at least three different official flags. The first flag had red and blue stripes and had the stars in a circle representing the Confederate States. It lasted from March to 4th, 1861 to November the 28th, 1861. The second flag looks like this, and the third flag looks like this, and both flags lasted from 1863 to 1865. The symbol that we commonly associate with the Confederate flag was used during the Battle of Virginia. However, it was never used officially by the Confederacy. However, once the Sons of the Confederacy was formed, they decided to make that flag the official Confederate flag. From a pure historical standpoint, she is wrong to refer the flag as the Confederate flag. It's also worth pointing out that the LGBT flag has been around since 1978, however the founder himself have recently passed away. Although I mentioned earlier that the Confederate flag is not really the Confederate flag, the second and third variation of flags actually have the symbol that we commonly associate as the Confederate flag. Because the second and the third variation of the flag used the stars and stripes, it basically was used during the time of slavery. The LGBT flag, however, was created for a movement that fought for equal rights. To compare a symbol that was used for equal rights to a symbol that was used in slavery is patently absurd. That said, the LGBT community have been trying to divide people by race with a new flag that has black on it. Although the symbol of the Confederate flag was used during slavery, it's also worth noting that not everybody who has the flag is a racist. Although it's commonly used in white supremacist circles, there are some Southerners who believe that that symbol represents Southern pride. Although some people may or may not agree with that sentiment, it's still worth noting that not all people who have that flag is a racist. Anyway, what's your guys' thoughts about this issue? Please tell me down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.